Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have the first new Humble Bundle of the new year, almost. Okay, technically it's New Year's Eve, but this one is practically as close as we can get. So this one is a collection of environments. You can see samples of them playing right now in the background. Uh, this is coming from a company called Hive Mind. Now from what I've seen, I think about maybe half of these have been available in various different bundles from other places. And then I'd say the other half are new. Speaking of half and half, uh, there's Unity and Unreal Engine in this particular bundle. You've got a lot of world environments here. And we're going to see one of those environments open up in both game managing an idea of exactly what they look like. Uh, but yeah, that was a bit of a trailer of the things available in this bundle. Let's go on back over and take a look at the bundle itself. So available here, go over to software section. What you're going to find is this one one is also just finishing up the ultimate Unreal Mega Bundle. Uh, so that, unless it gets renewed, might be today only. Uh, but what we're looking at here is this one. It's the Game Dev Assets Mega Bundle Unreal Engine and Unity. Now, this one contains 40 items uh, for $25 USD, available for both Unreal Engine and for Unity. You can tell by the logo at the top right corner which game engine it's for. So technically, if you're using Unreal, you're getting about... I think 30 assets here. If you're using uh, Unreal Engine, you're getting about 10-ish. Uh, the another nice thing is a lot of things can be exported from Unreal Engine to work with just about whatever game engine you want. Uh, so if you're using Godot or Blender or Flax or another game engine, exporting them out is super simple. I actually have guides to doing so down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. So first off, this is the post-apocalyptic environment. I have this one open up both in Unreal Engine and Unity. Now you're going to notice that out of the box, the lighting is just vastly different between the two game engines. This is just how the projects are set up. I would actually argue that the exteriors look a lot better uh, in Unreal Engine, but the interiors, in my opinion, actually look a little bit better in Unity. And that's because, honestly, Unity just doesn't look that great out of the box. You gotta do some tweaking to make it look quite nice. All right, so here you can see various different uh, sundries available in the environment over here. We got a couple of stores and stalls and so on over here. So again, if you're making a Mad Max style game, this has got you set. By the way, if you're doing a medieval style game, uh, same deal. So over here, we got a bike, like a speeder bike, uh, Fallout style computers over here and then over here interestingly enough we got a closed door and we go inside and we've got a bar environment so you can see an idea of just how big these environments actually are uh, incredibly modular uh, in nature so come down here by the way if you do want to export something out it's as simple as basically click here grab the asset export it out, pick your file format, like FBX or GLB or whatever, have it bake the textures and you are good to go. There are also tools such as Unreal to Godot, which can do entire scenes at the same time to make it even easier for you. And by the way, everything is modular. So come down here, you're gonna find blueprints, everything that we might want, we can just boom, drop, instantiate into the scene like so. So uh, again, everything is set up, ready to work with. Everything is modular in nature, so you can extend this, create your own thing, so it does not look like an asset flip if you use said assets. So that there is the Unreal Engine demo. Here we have the Unity side. Again, the outside lighting out of the box. This is on HiveMind too. They just made their Unreal Engine stuff look better, uh, but getting Unity to look good outside, out of the box, does take a bit more work. But like I said, here we go to like a bit of an inside environment, and I think it looks... Looks a little bit better, minus the weird clipping going on. And still here, here is the bar. This one has the doors open, mind you. And come on down here, and you see bar environment, various different uh, things behind the bar, and so on. And again, this is entirely modular, so you've got a variety of prefabs, etc., that you can go ahead and work with. And that is a demo of one of the assets. Now, the very cool thing here is you actually find that these assets, so go up here, my assets, on the uh, Unity side of things, uh, it's on my other screen. Over here, you're gonna notice they all imported. These are all of the uh, the hive mine. So here you can see the various different assets that are part of this bundle. They import into the Unity asset store um, as a single key. And then in the case over here, they import into the fab store Sadly, one key by time. So if you're used to dealing with Unreal Engine stuff, you're probably already familiar with that experience. Now, it's a little confusing exactly how it works with Unity. I will show you that in just a second. First, a quick overview of the bundle itself. Again, 40 items here. Uh, and you'll notice there is no slider anymore for uh, working with uh, me. By the way, if you do use my link, it does help support me. And thank you so much if you do. Uh, but you don't need to adjust the slider anymore. If you have some trouble with the link, by the way, open it up in a new tab. It's Humble Links and uBlock Origin are fighting with each other. Hopefully they get that resolved soon into the new year and that won't be an issue anymore. But if you do have an issue with the link, just post it in a new tab and it should work just fine. So you can see here, 
the uh, right top right corner, Unreal Engine, that shows what the assets are for. Again, keys for everything. So again, Unreal, 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 and Unreal. So you've got a lot of environment packs, so sci-fi, Wild West, uh, Dungeon and Castle, and then a modular battlefield. Uh, and then a haunted house. And then Unity, we have the modular castle and dungeon mega pack over there. Unreal, we got Native American Village, the Temple of Cthulhu. Uh, we have a variety of animals. And then we have the same one for both the stylized nature pack for Unity and Unreal Engine. Post apocalyptic, which we looked at for both of them. Uh, medieval Village for both. Uh, destroyed Buildings for both. Modular Dungeon for both. Modular Graveyard for both. Medieval Town. Medieval Town. So two different medieval towns there. Another Medieval Village. Medieval Houses, uh, that one's for Unreal Engine. Uh, Desert Town, and then we've got Abandoned Factory. We'll have that for uh, Unreal shortly on as well. Uh, Medieval Town for both. And then we've got some sound packs in here as well. A few others, some more sound packs here. And then the Castle Kit down here for Unreal Engine at the bottom tier. Uh, Tier-wise, it generally doesn't make sense to get anything other than the $25 tier. Your uh, entry-level tier here is like 5 bucks and gives you those two assets right there. Your median price tier, which is interesting because actually people are choosing this more, you're only getting eight items at the median tier for 16 or $15 US. So generally, you'd pay the extra 10 and get the 22 extra items uh, here. So, I'm oh, sorry, 32 extra items there. Uh, so that is kind of the bundle overview. In terms of when you purchase this bundle, you get it obviously a set of keys for the Unreal Engine stuff. It is redeemed on the Epic Game Store. You will then get them in your fab uh, environment. So you notice here, uh, you get your Epic key there, Epic key there. So I redeemed the post-apocalyptic one like this guy right here. You take that key, you add it into your Epic Games Store, it redeems on Fab. Sadly, what you're noticing here is it does one at a time. Now, the thing that's confusing here is the Unity stuff, it shows us Modular Medieval Town Unity. Huh? Well, what the reality is, is this key, which I've obviously edited out and used, this is actually key for all of the, the items. So all 10 Unity items are redeemed using a single key. So you head on over to your account over here, like so. Uh, make sure you are logged in, and then you redeem your code right there. Although I actually redeemed it from going to my assets and then redeeming code that way. Both ways work, and then once that is done, it will get all 10. You need to assign it to your organization, and that's it. You are done. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The Game Dev Assets Mega Bundle for Unreal Engine and Unity. And once again, it can export it out to other game engines as well, and the license does allow you to do that. Good quality stuff. Again, heavily into the environments. I love environments, so obviously that works for me. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, happy New Year, at least in a couple of hours anyways, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.